I know there's one question that's been bugging you the entire month, and that's what's the best value football boombox for the month of February? And no one's asked that before. Well, I'm going to tell you in just a second. Let's rip some aces. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Huxbox here. If you're new, consider subbing to the channel. Give that thumbs up button a little likey like. And if you really want to help support the channel, if you're really, really like me, consider becoming a channel member. Details in the description below. Before we get into the boombox stuff, I want to let you guys know that I have a monthly giveaway going on for the month of February. To enter, just be a sub, like this video or any video in the month of February, and leave a comment in any February video. And each video gets you one entry into the giveaway. All right, to the boombox. I'm taking a slightly different approach going forward. I feel like, especially with repacks, with prices the way they are these days, you gotta be a little bit smarter with your money. So I've broken down, what are you gonna get value-wise out of each box? Now, how I determined that was, I just took the price of the a box divided by the number of packs, and that was the pack value. Now, if you were to buy individual packs, it would be a little bit more and you have to value, but I can't account for the time and energy it takes for repackers to put the box together and send it to you. But that is our baseline we're going off of. And I did the mid-end platinum and elite. I did not do the, I don't even remember the name, the base boom box that's 50 bucks. So here we go. Coming in third place was the platinum. As you can see, the pack list there, Bowman Chrome U, Elite, Prism No Huddle, and Phoenix first off the line, and your bonus packs. I valued each of those at $5 a pack. The total value on this box is $147. The box cost is $140. Now, I didn't account for shipping or tax. Maybe I'll do that in the future. But your expected value out of the Platinum is $7. Bucks. Now, the mid-end and Elite actually tied the mid-end as you can see, you had Bowman's Best, Donra, Certified, and Phoenix with your bonus packs for a total value of 110 bucks. The mid-end boom box costs $90, so that's an expected value of plus 20. And then you have the Elite, the big boy, which you had uh, a lot of first off the line, Elite first off the line, Phoenix first off the line, Prism Hobby, Select first off the line, and your bonus packs for a total value of $280. A box cost of 260 for an expected value of plus 20 bucks. Now, which one did we get? Let me show you. Drum roll, please. We got the we got the big boy, the elite. Uh, we weren't getting the mid end for a video, were we? Just not nearly as exciting. Everything I do, I do it for you. So, I guess I should have gotten both. Here is your ticket promo. There are some peanuts, so game over. Um, we didn't get a ticket, but you're getting a uh, Brock Purdy autograph full size 49ers helmet. Pretty cool. And I am recording this pre Super Bowl yet again, so eventually we'll get to talking about the Super Bowl. Let's see what we got pack wise. Yeah, I'm not even trying to save the peanuts. And our mag is a 55-point magnetic holder. Now, and I forgot to introduce who's on stage today. We got on the left there a Justin Herbert select color match blue. And on the right, from a previous video, we got a Bijan Robinson Kaboom. Go check out that video. Uh, one of my more epic pulls uh, for sure. All right, so this is going to be, this is first off the line, Donruss Elite. Here's our Phoenix first off the line, our Prism Hobby. Um, a Prestige 2014, so that's uh, Johnny Manziel. A 2015, I don't know who's in that draft. Derek Carr and a Select first off the line. So let's go here, here, and here. That select does not feel like a thick pack, so that is not super exciting. We're gonna go with uh, we'll go with Tops Chrome first. Let's see what we can get. UFC Tops Chrome is coming out here at the end of the month. Ooh, we got a die cut. All right, 
So there's Jeremy Hill. I do love this design. Larry Fitzgerald. A Tom Brady. Ooh. No, that's a Gronk. On the 50. And behind that, a Bryce Petty rookie card. Check out the die cut. A Gronk. Gronk ain't going nowhere. I thought that was Brady for a second. Not numbered. I don't think that is a parallel of any sort now. I'm not terribly familiar with 2015 uh, product at all. I was not in the hobby at that time. But cool card. All right. Prestige 2014. Never really opened this either. So there's a Levante David. We got a filler. That's a bummer. Levante David. Kyle Rudolph. Pierre Garçon. A nice filler. And that is something. That is a big board. Kansas City Chiefs Aaron Murray. Did that dude... I am not familiar with that guy. Selected fifth round. Well, no wonder. Right behind that. Some rookies. Austin Safarian Jenkins. Was that... No, that's not. The prestige parallels are pretty, pretty lame. Um, Josh Gordon... Joe Hayden, and a Stevie Johnson. Not numbered either. Just, I'm not sure if that's a parallel. Oh, traded to the 49ers. Yeah, I remember when he got traded. Still in his Bills Uni there. But a 49ers card. It seems like some parallel. I don't even know. Actually, it's not. That's just the 49ers. Colors, that's why it's throwing me off. Okay, next up. So those are two bonus packs out of the way. We're going to go. Donruss Elite first off the line, incredibly hard to hit out of. Um, it's awfully thin. And on the front, we got a Ryan Tannehill. This is also, they don't know how to collate any of their stuff. So a Tannehill out of 149. I love Donruss Elite. How they look, they're not particularly loved by the hobby, however. But wrong titans quarterback there and then he's just gonna get a whole bunch of base there is a purdy though loser and uh well i'm not gonna talk about the super bowl because uh the super bowl has already happened so all right phoenix first off the line fun fun product we did open a box of these as well and reviewed check that out we did get a thick boy is that a filler nope so we either got a patch or an RP, uh, RPS, RPA. McCaffrey. Like, out of Phoenix, you know you're going to get something out of every box. A Thunderbirds Cardinals. James Connor Silver. We'll pull from the back. Mac Jones. Silver Flamethrowers. Can we get an Addison? RHL. Yeah, rookie autograph jersey. PW. PW. This is Jeopardy. Something. Something Washington. Parker Washington. Who the f is this guy? That was just a guess. That is numbered two out of five. Who doggy? Look at that patch. I, I don't know this guy. At all. Parker Washington. I should have came ready with my sleeves. Look at that chunky... Uh, it's like the uh, go on the jersey. A nice signature too. Kept it on the sticker. Two out of five. So he played at Penn State. Yeah, I'm not familiar with him, this guy at all. Let's get that. Top loaded. May you do great things. Not too bad. 
We'll take the guy I've never heard of out of five. All right, select. This doesn't feel thick. This is uh, first off the line. You can hit big or miss, and this is going to be a miss for a, you know, a hundred dollar pack. Kenneth Walker on the sweet level. This is 2022, so that's his rookie card. A snapshots, Devontae Adams. Also, Purdy is not in this product. And all we're going to get is a silver out of here, and we're going to get a silver Dak Prescott. And a Kyle Hamilton rookie card. So when it misses, it misses hard. All right, Prism, you got some heavy left to do. That is a not... <laughs> The kind of burden you want to put on Prism Football. Do you have a blue ice back here? So we, we did get some color. Billy Sims, St. Brown, Kyle Pitts, Chandler Jones, Mark Brunel, Tua, Ricky Williams, our silver Vikings. Can we see a rookie shield? We can. Addison, Jaron Hall. We'll take that. I would have rather had an Addison. Could we be lucky enough to have another rookie? Upside down. Blue Ice Colts. Oh, please be. Give me a rookie shield. Nope. Michael Pittman Jr. On the Blue Ice. That'll be numbered to 125. Sorry, 99. So close. So very close. Ojolari and a Justin Shorter. Oh my god. I am never going to financially recover from this. They can't all hit. You know, it's a repack, so it's real hit and miss. So all in all, I enjoyed it. Repacks are always fun. I want to thank you guys for watching. Spending even just a minute of your time with me today. And until next time, peace out.